everybody. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, what we're going to be doing this week and also how it's going to contribute to the overall picture of what we're doing in unit two. So the assignment that you have to do first this week um, is that choosing an article using the crap test. So what I've actually done for you guys, particularly since you're online, is I have picked some articles from you to choose. So you have this list of four articles. You can see the little bullet points here. This is an article, this is an article, this is an article, and this is an article. Um, these are all articles about a topic, about this kind of idea about vaccination and healthcare. Um, lots of different perspectives in these articles, uh, lots of different ways to approach the topic, lots of different sources. So some might be from a database, some might be from .gov, some might be from .edu's, some might be from .coms. What I want you guys to do is use your knowledge of the crap test to go through and figure out which of these articles would be a good one for you to evaluate. Um, so you're going to pick one of the, oh, I should change that to four articles. I added a fourth one of the articles listed above, and then you're going to fill out the research and evaluating sources worksheet for the article that you choose. So in order to really think about choosing a good article from the get-go, you want to think about the crap factor. Um, and once you pick an article, then um, if it's a good article, you're going to use it here in annotation practice. If you choose a not so good article, I'm going to tell you, hey, this isn't a great article. Actually, hopefully, when you do the full evaluation, you're going to figure out, hey, this isn't such a great article. Um, but if you're still practicing, then I'll say, hey, don't use this article. Here's why. Um, and then you'll pick another one to annotate. But if you pick a good one, then you'll just continue annotating it. Once we annotate the article, then we'll move on to the next assignment, which isn't due until October 10th, about summarizing and paraphrasing. Um, that article. So we're going to work with the whole process of finding and evaluating articles step by step. So we're going to find an article, we're going to evaluate an article, we're going to make sure it's a good article, then we're going to annotate it, then we're going to summarize it. So the two things that you're doing this week, by Thursday, you're going to find and evaluate the article, and by Sunday, you're going to do the annotation practice with an article um, that is a strong one. So those are the things that are coming due. How do you tell? Well, hopefully at this point you have looked over the finding quality texts crap article. Um, I think I mentioned it in the last announcement and I certainly mentioned it in this announcement. This is a test that many academics use um, or that's used a lot in um, college libraries, basically. Uh, it's a set of guidelines for helping students find good materials and it's called the crap test. Currency, relevance, authority, accuracy, and purpose. So when you look to see if an article is current, you look to see how timely it is. If we're talking about an article that has to do with um, health and vaccination, and it's not really talking about um, coronavirus, and that's part of our topic, then that could be a problem. When we're looking for currency, we're looking to see if something is pretty current given the topic that we're speaking about. Relevancy is when we look at um, whether or not the article is relevant to what our needs are. So again, if we found an article that was about vaccine hesitancy among nurses uh, in, you know, Illinois, but it focuses on the flu vaccine and our topic is on COVID vaccination, that's not going to be relevant. It's going to have a lot of the same keywords, but it's not going to be relevant to our actual um, topic that we're looking for. Authority, that's the source of the information. Is it trustworthy? Accuracy is about the reliability, the truthfulness, the correctness of the content. And purpose is about the reason the information exists. So if you look over here, all of these questions help you arrive at the particular uh, criteria that you're looking for. So for purpose, uh, what's the purpose of the information? Is there a point of view that seems uh, to appear or does it stay objective and impartial? Are there biases at work? Accuracy, where does the information come from? Is the information supported by evidence? These are all of your Google questions. When you go to fill out the worksheet that you'll be doing um, about, see if I can find it. When you're working on the research and evaluating sources worksheet, 
you're going to see that it's actually going to take you through a lot of these questions. So you're going to do the motion of currency, relevance, authority, accuracy, purpose. You might want to give it a quick glance before you even start answering all these questions. If you can't figure some of this out, maybe it's not worth getting really into. Maybe it's not a great source um, and you can kind of put it on the back burner. Maybe you need to do this evaluation in depth to realize it's not a great source. That's fine. What we're doing at this point is we're trying to ask ourselves the questions we need to in order to choose a strong source, in order to understand if a source is strong or not. So what you're going to be doing is picking one of these articles. Let's go back. Picking one of the articles that's listed here. Give it a little preliminary search, maybe do some Googling about it. And when you think you have one that's pretty good, that's pretty strong, then you're going to evaluate it and see if it actually measures up to the crap test. That's your basic task for now.